Gents, when you guys were to see the worst attack in Clash of Clans history, now I'll admit, things you can do really bad in Clash of Clans is like doing all goblins and stuff, and I don't know, all wall breakers, and those would be considered like the worst things you can do, but in reality, people don't exactly do those on like in a like they are actually trying to attack the guy and win basis if that makes any sense most of the time those are just for fun and for the sake of getting a laugh out of the person who is going to watch it maybe it's your clan maybe it's simply the guy you are attacking but in this case i feel like this guy really tried using the troops that he did to attain the 100 percent but it didn't really go his way look at this guy right here this is my base right there with my nice queen who is level 10 along with my nice king who is level 10. So first of all he tries to lure out clan castle troops thinking there's going to be archers or something in there but out pops a lava hound. That is thing number one that went wrong. Keep that in mind because that lava hound believe it or not is actually going to be a pain in the butt. So the lava hound itself is actually going to get lured outwards so watch and learn this giant right here is going to attempt to go to that archer tower. Fortunately enough, we got a wall in the way, and better yet, we got a lava hound in the way. So right here, he releases some uh, archers, but the archers don't actually go after the lava hound. That giant is actually taken out, and the lava hound whips around, knocks out a wizard, and then knocks out, uh, with the help of an archer tower, knocks out that wizard, uh, second wizard. Now, the archers finally come back, but watch the lava hound. Meanwhile, look at this. We got some hogs going on over here. I'm actually going to pause it right here because so much is going on. So archers are still messing around with this lava hound over here, but meanwhile, we got hogs. Now, this is where things get really confusing. So I, I guess he's trying to go for the center of the base, that's fine, because obviously I have no loot in there. I mean, you could get a thousand dark elixir, but is that really worth all the effort that you're going through? Then, out pops a healer and three giants. This is where I got really confused, like, who still uses healers? Thank you very much. Okay. Notice he has a dump spell, but he doesn't use it on the giants, so he just lets the giants roam around. Meanwhile, his hogs actually get just destroyed by not only my defenses, but my king and queen. And pretty much all the hogs are dead before they even took out two defenses. Then pops out valkyries and goblins. When that goes against every rule in the Clash of Clans handbook, if that exists. Whoa, look at that Tesla, though. Anyhow, that goes against every single rule. You do not use Valkyries with goblins, and so now Healer is confused too. Healer is like, okay, I don't know what to do. Um, should I like go for the middle? Should I help the wizard out? Should I help the goblins out? Why are there goblins anyway? Should I help the Valkyries out? Why are there Valkyries anyway? Okay, so that just looks so epic though. I paused that perfectly. Okay, moving forward, our Lava Hound is actually alive, believe it or not, and these giants are as well. They're being healed by that healer, but they're not going to do much since our girl Archer Queen is going to be like, screw you healers, and with the help of its air defense, it's going to get rid of those giants. Meanwhile, Valkyries are one Valkyrie is being healed and taking out stuff around the base, and that wizard is actually being smart and going into the base. Now, this is where things get hilarious if you ask me. So, I'm obviously no good at uh, cracking jokes, but if I was good at cracking jokes, I'd make like a billion jokes out of just the Barbarian King what it's doing. Look at this. First of all, he has a jump spell. Guys, he has a jump spell, but he lets the Barbarian King attack the wall, and he lets the wizards just chill with those uh, lava pups. Now he uses the jump spell, and the Barbarian King jumps over, and the healer comes to the rescue. But then, the Barbarian King duels my Barbarian King, and with the help of the wizards actually destroys my barbarian king but things get pretty sad right here you see he had to get through all that stuff along with these two things before the guy could actually place a jump spell which he placed way too late he's like oh yeah i'm just gonna watch my barbarian king die and then place a heal spell and be like oh wait i have a jump spell left i can get this win funny thing is you see right here the, there's this jump spell over here so obviously the kid's completely clueless that he still has a jump spell but anyhow Right here, if he used the jump spell, he probably could have gotten the win, but he didn't. He just let the Barbarian King attack the wall, and that makes sense if you know that you're going to lose the raid and it's all fine. But then, he ends up using the jump spell anyway, just really, really late. Watch this. Okay, Barbarian King's about to die, and he places a jump spell down. Like, that's going to get him the Town Hall. Really? After using Goblins, Valkyries, you decide to use a jump spell 10 seconds before your Barbarian King's about to die? That is the saddest ending in Clash of Clans history right there of any defense of mine. I don't know if you guys have seen sadder things, but first of all, healers, valkyries, goblins, hogs, wallbreakers, giants, wizards, 
and archers like um like i'll give it to you hashtag diversity but that's about it okay guys that is the worst attack that i have ever seen ever and not to compare it against things like all giants or people getting 49 percent but that in general was like i really felt bad for the kid while watching that live i was like come on really are you really gonna try this like i would have given up after dropping the goblins i would have been like screw this it's over i can't get this town hall but he kept going at it i don't know where to respect that or call him an idiot i don't know <laughs> i guess we'll respect it thank you guys for watching this is going to be me locking off